Let's take this guy, Tola. I pick him because he also was in the book of Judges. And he has one verse in the book of Judges. And I'm indebted to Pastor John Corson for some insights that led me down the path here, and I'll fill in the blanks here. The word tola happens to mean scarlet. It's tra- that word is translated 38 times as crimson, or its equivalent, in the scripture. Now, why is tola mean scarlet? Because scarlet dye was made from a particular worm. The technical term is Sermus vermilio of the family of Cocosidae, which is a Thynacotta or Hemiptera. Now, I know you feel much better having learned that. I feel much better having finally found that in the proper reference material. But where am I headed with this? Well, it turns out that these insects pierce the thin bark of twigs to suck the sap, from which they prepare a waxy scale to protect their soft bodies. And what happens then, the dye is in this scale. The active ingredient is cremesic acid, and the dye is one of the anthroquinones. And it, it's yellow, red, in water, and becomes typically violet red in acid solution. So that's the chemistry behind this. Is that why Tola is in the scripture? H- hang with me here. Do you remember in Isaiah, the verse that you've heard quoted so often? Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Remember that verse? The tola, while reproducing, the female climbs a tree, usually a home oak, where it bears its eggs. The larva hatch and feed on the body of the worm. In other words, it gives its life for its mission. Okay, so far? A crimson spot, of course, is left on the branch. After three days, when the scarlet spot dries out, it changes to white and flakes off. Did you pick up on that? Jesus said from the cross, I am a worm and no man. On the tree of Calvary, so that you and I might be born again. Did you get that number of days? There's a red spot. In three days, it turns to white. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be wool. You sort of makes you wonder, wow, what lies behind these other names? And uh, we have articles on that. Well, let's move on.